What is up, party people? My name is Daryl, and today we're going to talk about Brizzy, all about Brizzy today. Now, this page builder has been really hard at work, and they just introduced some really cool features. So in this video, I'm going to go over those features and show you a little bit about Brizzy, what they're offering in their pro version. Now, one more thing I want to talk about. You know, if if I look good, if I my color looks good, please let me know in the comments below. I had this whole problem with my webcam. I'm hoping this looks natural. I'm kind of working on it. I just got this new webcam and it's just like, it's just not working with me and I, I don't know why. The lighting just really sucks. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about uh, <laughs> Brizzy. So they introduced uh, shape dividers. They also introduced video filter. They introduced blog posts as well. Now, the really great thing about this is that it just integrates really well and it just works really easily. So let me just give you an example of this new feature they added on the Brizzy page builder. So right here, I'm gonna go to settings and go to this little, little uh, gear icon. I'm gonna go to more settings right here. I'm gonna go to the dividers right here. Now you can see right here, I've already added the dividers in. So I kind of like wanted to give it this like, you know, this this like, you know, crisscross look, you know, it looks really nice. So right here, you can kind of change the dividers and right here, we can go ahead and change the color, just giving you an example. And then you can also change, you know, the, um, you know, how, how big it is, et cetera. And then they have different kinds right here. So they have a lot of different uh, shape dividers. And again, this is similar to Elementor, except uh, this right here, you know, it, it does integrate really well. It looks nice and you can flip it. I think that's, you know, I think that's part of Divi. I, I, I don't know if Elementor has that feature, but I know Divi does. So that's pretty cool. They've added that in. Uh, so again, you know, the shape dividers, uh, they're no big surprise. You know, Divi has them, Elementor has them as well. So uh, Breezy jumped on board and they added them on their page builder as well. So let me just change that back to black. Let's make it look good. Yeah, something like that, right? That looks a little bit... That looks more cool, you know, it looks really natural. Now, another thing they added was the image saturation feature. Well, not saturation, the image filter feature. Saturation is one of the features within it. So right here, I'm gonna go to this uh, this image right here and click on settings. I think it is under, no, it's under, it's under right here, the style. So you click on the image and then click on style. And here you can kind of change all of the, um, you know, the features of it, the colors. So here, I just kind of like, you know, I gave it that like dark white look, you know, because we're kind of doing like the black on white kind of thing, you know what I mean? So here we can kind of, you know, adjust it. And uh, if you want to go ahead and do these to your images, you don't need Photoshop no more. You Now you can just go ahead and just edit everything through Brizzy. So this is a really nice feature. Elegant Themes uh, released this first. Um, then Elementor kind of followed it. And then now Brizzy is following it as well because it's just really nice. You know, it's helpful. It just looks really clean. And it's a great way to filter your images. Now, one of the other uh, features they added was the image or the video uh, filter right here. So you can kind of go ahead and mess around with all the settings right here. Like you can change the play button. You can add a cover photo to it. You can do a lot with this right here. So over here, we have the video right here. You can change like the ratio, the controls, you know, the video link right there. Cover, you can go ahead and add in whatever image you want. You can go ahead and zoom in on it and you can also have it play like that. So really cool. Uh, also, the style right here, you can also change the uh, the saturation of it as well. So that is pretty, pretty cool. You know, I don't use videos too much on my websites, but if you want to have a really nice presentation for, you know, a, a video or something like that, you can kind of decorate it right here. You can go ahead and just upload any image you want, and then you can kind of decorate it right there. So maybe you don't want like the default one that YouTube people use. You can kind of make your own and then you can zoom out on it. You can, you know, style it. You can do all sorts of really cool features. So I thought that was just really uh, nice that Brizzy added that in. The next one is their posts, but for some reason it's not working for me too well. So let's go ahead and jump into this and maybe it's working for you. Now, right here on their blog right here, they have been talking about it where it's called the blog elements. Let's go ahead and just check it out really quick. Now they do have dynamic content for it as well. So you can kind of change everything on the blog post. It's really, it's really nice. I just wish it was working uh, properly, but it came out literally today. So they gave me access to it today and today I'm doing the review on it. So we're probably going to see some bugs. Maybe my hosting sucks, you know, on that specific one, I'm using HostGator, but HostGator, I don't think, I don't think it's bad. You know, let me know in the comments what you think about HostGator. I think they're a, a good service. They're not, they're not horrible. So uh, scrolling down right here, I'll just go ahead and give you a brief preview of it. Uh, you can kind of, you know, add in your different categories. You can, you know, change the featured image for each one. And they have this, uh, I guess, this new style of, um, you know, instead of having your title, you can have like tags. So let me just give you an example of that really quickly. So over here, I'll just go ahead and delete this because I was messing around with this earlier. You know, I was kind of, you know, messing around with it. And uh, let's just see how this works. So right here, posts, I'll go ahead and put it in. All right. 
Now, right here, what they've done is if you type in tag, you can do post title, post content, post excerpt, post date, etc. So right here, I'll do post date right there. And then over here, I'll go ahead and select uh, the featured image. Or right, I'm gonna click on this thing right here. And this is gonna allow me to select the featured image. So right here we have the featured image and then below that right here, we can go ahead and add in something else like, um, you know, post excerpt as well. So right here we have the post title, post excerpt, then we can also go ahead and edit this as well. So for example, we can click on, you know, this and we can change it to, I don't know, which one should we do? Heading, heading one, Montserrat's, we'll, uh, we'll kind of mess around. I like Montserrat, Montserrat's a good, a good font. I think it's really helpful. And then here we'll go ahead and change this to something like black and then we can also uh, center this as well. Okay, let's go ahead and go back over there. I don't know why I added the dotted lines there. So that's maybe maybe that was in the settings I didn't look, huh? Yeah, it's kind of strange it did that. But anyways, you guys get the point. So uh, just by fiddling around with it, you guys will kind of get the, the, you know, the general overview of it. So let's go ahead and click on preview now. So I added in the uh, the title and I added in the excerpt. Oh, I need to add in the categories. Silly me, silly, silly me. Let's go over here and go to WordPress and then I'm gonna go ahead and select my categories right here. So this right here is plugins. So I made a specific post for plugins. So right here I have the post title, post excerpt, and then you know whatever else you wanna change. So the whole purpose of this is that you know it's dynamic. You can go ahead and change whatever you want right here. Also right here on the button, you can put like read more. You can change the color as well. So you don't have to use like the default settings. So I thought that was really cool that Brizzy introduced that feature. So let's go click on updates and let's just, you know, let's just see if this works. You know, let's hope, you know, preview, here we go. You know how WordPress is, you know, it's just sometimes, you know, we're some, WordPress sometimes just doesn't want to work. It's like, you know, I don't want to work today. It's like, all right, and then you got to just wait, you know. So there is the title. I made it way too big. Now, the, again, the, um, the issue that I was having is the excerpt wasn't showing. So I, I'm not sure why that was. But uh, let's go back over here. Maybe we can change this. Oh yeah, that's why it's it's way too big, way too big. Let's change this to something like uh, <laughs> something a little bit smaller. Oh, it's being uh, there. We go. Okay, maybe I can hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It it was working for a while. You know, let's just change it to uh, uh, a paragraph. You know, and then we'll change it like this right here. You know, another thing they might want to add is the fact that I just want to click, like double click on it and then just change it like that. So, um, you know, they might want to add that in the future. So right here, uh, we have the post title, we have the excerpt. You know, I can't figure out why I have that line under it though. You know, I really don't know why that line is there. So I know there's supposed to be like a, a promotion video and I'm sitting here like, why isn't this working, you know? But again, it just this literally just came out today. So we can expect to see little glitches and little bugs here and there, but Ultimately, the features that are, they're introducing once they perfect it are gonna be really nice and really amazing. Also, if you want to purchase Brizzy, there is a link below to purchase it. I did receive a small commission. If you don't wanna buy it, that's eh, okay. You know, and there's next time. You know, we always got next time. So there you go, the text changed. Maybe I wanna go ahead and maybe, you know, fix the title so this looks proper. But uh, we can expect to see a lot of new features from Brizzy. You know, they are constantly adding more and more features in all the time. Uh, go ahead and check out their blog. You know, they do have a presentation of of the um you know of their of their posts but when i was messing with it i just didn't really you know it, it it was a little glitchy you know here and there but again it's the first day it came out so uh i'm pretty sure that it's gonna we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of glitches but you know as as a uh, new uh, new versions get released they're gonna fix it they're gonna fix it uh, i think this page builder is really amazing i'm really looking forward to it i will have a tutorial on it probably sometime when it's near completion, you know, cause right now it's it's developing and they're just adding in a lot of new features, but I'm loving it, you know? And again, it's taking the best of Divi and it's kind of taking the best from Elementor and it's just combining it together. So we're seeing a really amazing page builder. I'm really excited for it because I do like a lot of the Divi interface and I don't like how Elementor, I just don't like Elementor's interface kind of, I like Divi's, but uh, with Brizzy, they're kind of adding that both in, like, you know, with, for example, right here on Brizzy, if I want to actually, um, you know, if I want to change something with like the padding or stuff like that, all I need to do is just simply like, you know, drag it like that and also drag it like this. You know, that is a straight feature from Divi. Uh, that El that feature is not available in Elementor. So again, they're taking both of the best features and adding in this page builder. So I'm really excited to see it. I'm really excited to see what they cook up over at ThemeFuse. So let me know in the comments what you think about Brizzy in the uh, comments below, all right? And let me know about the uh, video clarity because I released a video 
uh, last time and I was so pale and I'm and I couldn't figure it out I still can't figure it out so uh, I had like a, a, my webcam it updated and after it updated like I had nothing but problems and now I can't get the lighting perfect so it's a total pain in the butts but um yeah anyways there is a link below to purchase Brizzy again I do receive a small commission if you purchase it if not that's okay next time all right and I will see you all in the next video